This video is going to focus on level design for our 3D game. So, one of the biggest changes from the last video you might have noticed is I've got these grass texture blocks. All I've done is I've took my dice shape, edit animations, and add an animation for each one, or a frame I should say for each one. So we've got these new faces. One thing that we do need to do with these before we do anything else is we actually need to turn on the back face because we are going to have the back face visible during our game now. So with that out of the way, let's get started to make this look like an actual 3D game. So first thing I'm going to do is actually going to remove my floor. I don't need my floor for this type of level. This can be a 3D platform sort of level, so I can get rid of that. What I am going to do is click on layer though, and I'm just going to apply a really, really simple background color. Give it that sort of sky effect. So if I run this, Everything's covered in this sort of blue texture now. I'm going to start by adding a flooring for our player. So I'm going to take one of these 3D objects. I'm going to hover it over the player, like so. And then I'm going to click on the object. And we've got two options we can play around with. We've got our Z height, which is how tall the object is. I'm going to make the starting platform a little bit bigger. So it starts at 30. And the next one is Z elevation. So how high is it up? in the sky where's it starting position so i'm going to set this to 50. this will put it up much higher than it already is on we then need to go to our player and we actually need to change our player starting position as well because if not our platform is going to be really high in the sky and our player is not so what you want for this is you want the height of the platform plus obviously the Starting position of the object, so it starts at 50, the height of it brings it to 80, and then you want the player's camera as well, which is 90. So again, the object starting position, add that to the object's height, add on the player's height, gives us 90 there. That means that we're comfortably on top of that platform. Now if I run this, you'll see that I'm not comfortably on top of this platform. The platform's up in the air, above me, I'm not on the platform. What I actually need to do is go to my event sheet and we just need to change a little bit of code. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this code here. And what we're going to say is the new camera position is going to be the player dot Z elevation plus 10. Again, that 10 is our leeway. So we're above the ground. So now if we run it, You'll see we're on top of this platform. We can start moving away from this platform as well. And we can start to see some of the other platforms available in our game. Now what we can start doing is we can go back to our level. We can start bringing some more platforms in. So I'm just going to copy and paste a platform. I'm going to have a platform that's a little bit lower down. So again, I need to change its Z elevation. And this one is going to start... The current one's at 50, but it's got a 30 height, so let's do about 60. So this will be very close and nearby to our current platform. We can take some more platforms, and again, it's all about the Z elevation and the Z height. So what's the starting position plus the height of it off the ground? So let's add one more to it. And I'll click on the object. And I want this Z elevation to be at 40. For the others, I'm just going to quickly change them to be at lots of random heights. We can even go into negatives if we want. And this just gives our level that little bit of variety in platform sizes and distances. And then if we run this once more, you'll see that actually we've start to get the start of what looks like a level. We have got two platforms on top of each other, so that's something that would need to be fixed. But now we've got something that looks a lot more like a game.